Welcome to Terrabalga National Park. So welcome to Terra Bolga. This is some, a place that we've been wanting to come back to for quite a while. It's a beautiful rainforest with multiple different species of ferns and fungi and beautiful birds as well. It's really lovely to visit. Uh, it's always just lush and green uh, surrounded by ancient beech forests and tall tree ferns. It's spectacular and uh, always a beautiful place to visit at any time of the year. We are the first ones here this morning and that's the best bit because hopefully we'll get to see some birds very early in the morning or anything else uh, that might pop up along the way so let's see how we go. Okay. Things and the lamp works. Uh, it's just because it's so dark here. You can't really see me. June, it's winter, and we are staying at the Terra Valley Retreat, which is a caravan park. We're staying in one of their cabins. Very comfortable, a bit cold, 
uh, outside, but it's actually really nice in the cabin and it's beautiful in the rainforest. I found two zombie spiders. There's a particular type of fungi that parasitize spiders. It's called gibellula, and it's related to cordyceps, which you might know that is a fungus that infects other arthropods, insects, and so on. So that kind of fungus infects its host and changes the behavior of its host, causing them to behave in a way that maximizes the dispersal of the fungus. So it, it take the, the, the fungus essentially takes control of the host and so they make things like um, like you get ants that are infected with a fungus and they'll climb up to the top of a stalk of grass and die up there because it's the best place for the spores to disperse from. So these fungi that infect the spiders tend to cause the spider to sit and die underneath the surface of a leaf. And these ones we found under fern fronds, like the mortii. So you can see that they've, the fungus has completely grown over the spider. All you can really see that's left of the spider is a couple of kind of legs and then it's got this powdery mass with some little kind of projection sticking out of it, which is the fungus. Uh, recently, some colleagues of mine near Marysville found one that was where the spider was much more intact. It hadn't broken down yet, so you could still kind of see the see the body of the spider a lot better than these ones. But um, it's good because we don't know if this is a, a known uh, described species. It might be undescribed. And that's the sound of a lyrebird in the background somewhere.
What a lovely weekend we've had at Tarabonga. Yeah, it's been fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Just a beautiful rainforest. The forest here, yeah. just beautiful fungi. We um, have seen some really lovely uh, fungi, so we've taken some macro. So we hope you enjoy the macro uh, experience. And uh, we always sort of, because it's fairly dark in the forest, so it's very hard to... Um, film or photograph birds and basically they're a little bit scarce anyway. <laughs> well, it's, that's not unexpected. I mean, it's the birding in these highland forests during the colder months is pretty tough. Mm. It's, it's generally pretty quiet. But we saw an olive whistler, bassian thrush, um, and of course there's beautiful live birds. Yeah, that was great. And then we met Jojo the cockatoo as well, so that was pretty, pretty exciting. And Jojo loved to scratch, so I feel like... <laughs> Really, it was a highlight of my weekend. <laughs> anyway, so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. See ya.